Welcome back to the Oddcast. I'm Alex. And I'm Ricky. And that's Paul. Hi. Paul's on a mic today. I'm on a mic. Woo woo! And today we're He's three not on camera, dudes. though. He's not. He's not. Sorry. Interrupted. So if you're watching, if you're listening with your eyes. Yeah. It's still on You can't camera. see him. Yeah. You can't hear him. Keep going with the intro. And we're just three odd dudes at the moment who are going to eat wings and do a podcast. And today we're going to eat wings and do a podcast. <laughs> and we're going to answer all of your questions that you guys have. Uh, sorry, I just got a notification on my phone. Uh, that was rude of me to check it. I thought it was for this purpose, but it was not. Um, How dare you? Sorry. I, I apologize sincerely. We are uh, stealing uh, a different YouTubes who are not going to mention this week's. So we definitely have to mention. No, we can't. Why not? Because. Why can't? We're doing it differently. We're literally using their sauce. Okay. Well, we'll mention them when we use the sauce. Okay. Stay, stay tuned Techni- if you want to find out who it is. Technically, it's their sauce, but it's a different company's name on that. No, YouTube their channel. name is lit. Oh, then their YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. not their YouTube channel. Mm-mm. This, this, this is. Oh, okay. But, yeah. but the other part that you buy this from is different. Oh, okay. So, Marketing. Tune in later when we just. Dis- yeah, I hit the table. Don't worry about. That it. scared me. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's my bad. Tune in later when we tell you who we're ripping off today as yeah. far as YouTube. Goes. But we're we're if gonna have your question yet. What? Yeah, we're if you gonna, haven't guessed it. Yeah, no idea they know. We're going to answer all the questions you guys uh, asked us. And while we do it, we're going to keep eating wings to get hotter. Um, the last one we have is mango habanero. Uh, habanero? Mango habanero. Which uh, from, we got all these from Wing Street. Wing, or wing Stop. Stop. Excuse me. And their ranch is the best. But Alex didn't bring any of their ranch. Yeah, because it's like $5 for a large one to come with all this. Yeah, and it's the best ranch of all time. Do you want me to spend that? Yes, I, I did. Then I'm so sorry. I, I huh? You should be. I it am. is literally the best ranch of all time. It is I don't know what ranch. they do. They might put drugs in that. And I, I, it's, it's, I'm, I'm addicted. You know, we should get we should get some of those bees that can smell it. To oh, yeah, the, the drug-sniffing bees. Yeah, yeah, See yeah, if they, yeah, yeah. yeah. See what happens. Um, but. This is the longest intro of all time, but we are going to eat the wings, progressively get hotter. We're going to eat a lot of wings today. And then at the end, uh, at some point, whatever Paul determines is the best question is going to go very, very last. Um, so, Paul, make sure you determine what the best question is to go very, very last. And then we're going to put uh, a very, very hot other sauce a little bit on some wings. And it is made of Carolina Reaper, and I've had it before, and it makes me sad. It also, at one point, was, I've nice. told the story, the sauce that made Paul throw up out front of yeah our old church i think that might be me today because i had tilapia and brussels sprouts before i came oh, here oh man that was a mistake man i know you know what i had peanut butter and jelly sandwich i was coating the bottom that's I a really good idea big boy thinking right yeah, there i should have done that big brain i think put I, some it may not actually come out as throw up i might come out the other end just because brussels sprouts fire yeah brussels that's sprouts hot lava they really clear that colon track you know yeah well this, this stuff clears everything you actually are. no sinus issues nothing you'll be able tell to you. smell every rose in three miles that's radius. great i was thinking about that on the way here i was like i can't i'm not like stuffed like nose isn't like stuffed up necessarily but it's just one of those ones where it's like it's not as nice as it could be yeah you know and i'm ready for it you know what's up what when you get like when you get covid yeah and they say you can't smell or taste anything i haven't got covid so i don't know but like can you not can you still feel spicy i don't know no can you not feel spicy? Oh no. my gosh, that could be really dangerous. Man, yeah. this would be a great moment to get COVID. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, are you ready to do this? Are you nervous? Not, no. You're not nervous for this thing? No, nah, once we get to it, I'll be like, no, this sucks. I, here's the thing. I've had hot stuff before, and in my mind, there's still like a little bit of naivety of like, it's probably not going to be as hot. So I'm just going to live with that. I'm going to okay. live with that until I get to it. Yeah, it... Okay, I'll let you live with that. Thank you. Uh, Thank also, you. we are not sponsored by uh, Ranch, Hold on, Hidden Hold Valley on. Ranch, but... oh, There's that, another that. label under that. <laughs> we are not sponsored by Hidden Valley Ranch, <laughs> but uh, this is the size ranch that is always in our house because my wife is addicted to this stuff. So it's not as good as Wing Stops, but... Hold on. Thank you for this. This is going to help us survive. Listen listen to me here. Oh, we got we got to get through this, man. No, this is fine. It's the intro. We can make this as long as we want. There was two labels on this Hidden Valley Ranch, if you're watching with your ears or whatever. And I found the real Hidden Valley. That's that's pretty cool. It was man. the one behind the other one. <laughs> well, let's get to the odd cast. All right, so we're, uh, we're getting right into this. We are starting off. We have four different flavors of wings, which I don't remember what they are, so Alex is going to tell you those. This, well, we're starting off with lemon pepper. Lemon pepper is a dry rub on the Wingstop menu. 
It is the most mild. It is the most it mild. Is zero heat. So pretty much, it's just plain chicken with pepper on it. Yeah, it's in a, a, in a, in a, in a zesty someone lemon. whispered lemon. Lemon. Yeah. As they made it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Cool. What's next? After that, it's gonna be a smoky barbecue, which is like a normal barbecue, but a little bit with a little bit of heat on it. I think they said smoke. Yeah, they, <laughs> they just it was the building was on fire <laughs> when they made them. Um, and then the next one after that is your classic hot wing. Classic so hot ones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. And then the last one is the mango habanero. Say that again. Mango habanero. Habanero. Yeah. What do you? How do you say it? Habanero. habanero. You say habanero? Yeah. yeah. It's habanero. That Say seems wrong. Habanero? We should ask Google. Habanero. Habanero. Hey, Google. How do you pronounce habanero? We're, it, this is, it doesn't care. It's not working. Yeah, this is let's, let's keep going. So, and then at, we're going to, on the mango haba habanero, we're going to put Carolina Reaper sauce. We're going to do it on the hottest one. We're not well, just going to. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's, that, how that's how you the do only it. way to do it. It's oh, the last. So- you thing know, that you put thingy on. Mode, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I get it. The last, my na- my naivety and my blissful ignorance. You didn't is see what I did? No, I saw it and I hated I saw. it. I saw. I saw. I hated it too, but it, I can't believe it you makes did sense. That. It makes sense. So, all right, Paul, get us going. All right, I'm gonna eat this wing as he starts. Yeah, me too. Because this is this is pointless at this point. <laughs> pointless at this point. All right. So, first question. Um, it's a very good question. I like this one. Very, very subtle. Uh, would you rather? like to look like a potato or feel like a potato oh hmm. we got asked this we got asked this question the other day didn't we mm-hmm. i think we did it's the same person it's the same person it's my yeah. wife yeah okay yeah um yeah. it's erica got you i think i think i would rather what was the caveat it was you have like you have skin that feels like a potato skin she did not was put that any satisfying caveat. that was so satisfying but when anything. we were talking about it the other day, that's what it was. It was you have you you feel like you to the touch you feel like a potato. It wasn't like mm-hmm. you yourself feel like like when you, somebody says like I feel like garbage. Yeah, read it again. Read it one more time. All right. It says, "Don't eat in the mic, bro." Sorry. <laughs> They're very good wings. They are. Would you rather look like a potato or feel like a potato? So we're talking like Mr. Potato Head or have a starchy skin. Yeah, yeah. Not like emotionally feel, like like physically feel. Yeah. I think I think I would rather ooh, do you have like the density of a potato? Like when you touch a raw potato? Yeah. Is that like the However you touch physically a potato, that is what you are like to other people. I'd Imagine rather... people giving you a hug. That would not be you people would stop giving you hugs. Yeah. And probably imagine being. I'd rather in the, look. Being in the sun, you'd probably crisp really, really nice. Think about this: if you look like a potato, you look like, you know, dark and kind of, kind of leathery. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not really leathery, but that kind of like wrinkly look. You look like most of the people on the beach in California, anyways. Yeah, you just go to you go to Muscle Beach, Venice. You'll fit right in. Fit right in. I'm gonna look like a potato. I'm, Except I'm for you, would be very small. Yeah, that's fine. I think that'd be great. Mm-hmm. Because I'm like. If you look like an actual potato with arms and legs, like Mr. Potato Head, I'm freaking a billionaire. Yeah, I'm. Going... I could play live action Mr. Potato Head in the Toy Story movie. Also, you could go to the circus. You could start your own circus. Or I could. Start You'd my be own the circus. headlining act, Mr. Potato. Yeah. No, that's copyrighted. I'd yeah. be. I'd be Senor Potato, potato. Boy. All right, Senor Potato's better. I don't know. That might be cultural appropriation. Well, they don't. We don't want to get into that. They don't know. As a what, Mexican, just they don't. Saying. Just saying, they you're not have, a Senor. They'd have no idea what race I was. Fair enough. Because I'm a potato. Fair enough. You are potato race. Exactly. All right. All right. Cool. 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 We that answered was, that one. That was a good high five, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All of our high fives are good are high you, fives. Are you jealous that you weren't part of it? I was a little bit. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of tired. You, of you can be being here next time. Here now. Yeah. I want to be at the table. I don't want to be um, in the corner. But mm-hmm. that's fine. Also, these wings, you guys like these are good. These taste like nothing. These ones, yeah, they're not hot at all. But it's, it's like it's someone. Not hot, no. I'm, it literally, no. it tastes like someone put a little bit of pepper on chicken and whispered lemon to it. It is. Why it's, did a very, you it's a very strange. It's a very strange wing. It's not good. I don't like it. I don't mind it. All right. I like hot wings, man. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna like the other ones better, but I don't. I'm. I'm still enjoying it. Second question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Second question. Next one is: If you suddenly became a giant, mm, what yeah. would be the biggest inconvenience for you? Your size. Get it? Giant biggest inconvenience size. 
Easy. No, man. Next question. You're wrong. <gasps> Shoes. No, clothes. Just clothes in general. If you suddenly become a giant... You're not only a giant who draws a ton of attention, but mm-hmm. you also have no clothes that fit you. So you're just a giant walking around naked. Okay. Trying to get clothes for the size that nobody makes them for. You know what you're going to have to wrap yourself in? One of those like billboard, not billboards, but one of those like hanging on a building signs that's like mm-hmm. advertising that's made out of cloth. That's yeah. that's your new towel. And you just got to wrap yourself in that. Okay. But hear, hear me on this. Yeah. Long term. I, okay. I agree short term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long term, shoes are much bigger problems. Because you can mm-hmm. eventually get something made. It would take a while. Right. Or you can make it yourself. You know, you just go buy all the fabric at Walmart and just make some pants, a shirt. They probably have a pattern. You just sure, got to make sure. it bigger. Shoes? Man, you got nothing. I wonder, though, for a giant, like if a giant steps on like a thumbtack, it doesn't hurt nearly as bad as if we do. It won't hurt if you step on a thumbtack. You know what would still hurt? If you stepped it, on a fire hydrant. No. Well, maybe. But if you stepped on a go-ahead. Because I have those in my backyard. Doesn't matter how small they are, they hurt. <laughs> and there's something about them. They got a little like itchy poison or something. That man, you get a real go ahead actually stick you. Those are brings them in all the time. Mm. Dang dog. And I step on them, and it's like an hour and a half later, yeah. and it still has a little sting to it. Yeah, and you know what? Even no matter what, even if it didn't hurt, we're in Arizona. So like the Cacti. only places I'm gonna be able, no, the only places I'm gonna be able to walk as a giant is on the street, and it's gonna be hot. It's going to be oh, yeah. so dang hot. Yeah, you'd be burning. Yeah, for sure. What do you think, Paul? The biggest inconvenience, uh, finding clothes that fit. Mm. Yeah, definitely. It'd be the worst. And you Alex guys are thinking too short term, man. You know, Alex as a tall person would understand. I, I have no clue. I'm just assuming like it's a nightmare. Do you struggle to find clothes that fit because you're tall or because I, you have a lanky body? I make all my clothes. <laughs> oh, that's pretty impressive. No, look at this shirt. You made that? You really want to go with that route? You want to steal the fact that our, our good our buddy, <laughs> well, person that sponsored us before, made yeah, that shirt, and you're going to claim it as your own? Yep. David, who made this shirt, I'm talking to you. I made this shirt. <laughs> That's what I said. So I want to say to David. <laughs> He's going to be so happy He's with you. He's so happy with me. <laughs> but no, now nobody knows that David made this shirt. He printed it. You actually stitched the shirt together. I stitched together. the shirt together, yeah. I'm done with these. These are gross. I don't want these anymore. You know what? Okay, we'll get a, we'll get a new one. You ready for another question? Uh, yeah. Do you want to? Also, wanna... if you guys if you guys go to Wingstop, don't get the lemon pepper. It's disgusting. There it, goes our Wingstop it's fine. sponsor. What? Whenever we get sponsored. By no, that's okay. <laughs> All their other wings that I've ever had, amazing. These, mm. it's not a hot wing. If no, you have a not. wing, it needs to be a hot wing. Even if you go to mild, that's okay. Mild is fine. These aren't even mild. This is just like I made a frozen chicken. This is like the chicken, the pre-baked rotisserie chicken that you get at the grocery store that they just took the little wings off. Actually, I think it tastes That's like it. the the frozen ones from the bags. It's like oh, one wow, of those these are flavors. Saucy boys. Saucy boy. All right, next question. That's it. Just give me two of them. Are give me you, two of them saucy boys. Are you boys. a flats man or are you a drumstick man? Uh, I'm a both. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a preference one. Okay, okay. I can do... Whatever for the wingies, but Fair enough. spicy nugs, I'll do those too. But not as great. I like spicy nugs. I'm Let's go. What's fan. next? All right, next question. Uh, if you could shoot any condiment out of your fingers, what would it be? Oh, ranch, easy. Yeah, probably be wing stop ranch. You know what? No, spice. No, not spicy. I don't know why I was about to say spicy. Chipotle mayo. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense when you say chipotle. But I think I was thinking spicy nugs still. You made me literally uh, spit out Coke out of my mouth when you did that. That was quite impressive. Wow. Wait, what were you saying? I'm going to say spicy mayo. Why? It's just do you good. need it that often? It's, honestly, it's my favorite condiment. I think it's the superior condiment. It's better. But it's, what do you put it on? Burgers, hot dogs. You can't do it with wings, actually. You, you might be able to do it with wings. It wouldn't be as good. Here, I think it's still good with pizza, though. Here's my thing. Mm-hmm. I've never once went to a place where I had a burger or a hot dog where I had to pay extra for for a, that condiment. They always are provided. Yeah. I don't have spicy mayo though. But ranch, you go to wing places, they charge you for ranch now. Yeah. Like a lot. And pizza places. I'm not about it, man. I want my own ranch. So I'll just be like, I'm going to look. You know, I asked for my server that can't get some ranch. They're like, hey, that's a dollar extra. And they give you like not even a tablespoon of ranch. I'm yeah. going to look them dead in the eye and I'm go like this. And I'm just going to start pouring ranch out of my fingertip right on my plate. I'll be like, 
No, thank you. What kind of think of the power movie that is? Think of that. Yeah, that I mean, that is pretty dominance crazy. right there. It's like my thought is, is it like one of like Spider Man's webs thing where it can run out like Tobey Maguire? No, can't run out. Can't run out. Mm-mm. I'm I'm going into the ranch business then. Mm-hmm. Does exactly. it change based off what I eat? And if we have Wingstop's Ranch, which is the best ranch, it's not trademarked. You can't. That's I don't know. True. I don't think they trademark ranch. And there's no way they could prove that we stole their ranch because we'd be like, well, "How'd you make this?" And we'd be like, "We're gonna call it Ricky Ranch." <laughs> Pretty good, right? There we go. Odd Ranch. Odd Ranch. <laughs> this is the Odd Ranch. My my question is, what is the speed at which it comes out of your finger? Like, could I shoot it at somebody from across the room, or can I just drip it out of my finger? I think it depends on the viscosity of the condiment. So hot sauce, I think you get a further distance. Okay. And I think it's something like you can train yourself so you can like try and shoot it harder if you think hard, harder about it, you know? You can like flex. And yeah. Pew. But I, I feel like I'd be like this. And I, I would, just throw like a, you know, just a, a dab at someone. Just let them yeah. know. Like, oh, right? And just hit someone with it and just be like, you know. I That's would, a dominance move. I man. would just wait in pizza places for somebody to be like, oh, I forgot to ask for ranch. And I just, pew, 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 just yeah. I'd, I'd walk by and I'd pretend like I'm pulling a gun out of my holster. And it'd be finger guns. I wouldn't do that in Arizona. Imagine, That's, imagine yeah, if, <laughs> imagine if like someone you know you had a dispute with someone. Yeah, and then right, you and you know how people out? people like talk words and be mean to each other mm-hmm. to try and say hurtful things. You wouldn't know how to do that. You just dead look look someone in the eye. They they got like their car right there. You just be like, just shoot some ranch on the car. Now oh, they gotta go clean the car. That's or, great. On their shirt. Be like, Shh, now you got to go change your shirt, sucker. Because you true. look stupid. And they would be so confused that they couldn't even be mad. Like They can't be like, you just shot me with ranch. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, how did you, what happened? But here's the good part. Because if you did mustard, mustard stains stuff like crazy. That's just too aggressive. Well, ranch would stain stuff too. Not as bad as mustard. Not as bad. Mustard as bad. Dro- you know, just digs in yeah. there. So that's what I'm saying. Ranch, stain. ranch, they would have to go, you know, they'd have to go wash it. But they get that stain out. Mustard, you're done so, man. That, you, got, you got so much work. But a ranch is be like, and it's just letting you know, like, I have control over you, sir. Yeah, and I, I like, I'm, I'm superior because I have ranch fingers. Right. I like mustard, but it is not a good enough condiment to do that. No, right? not at all. Not even close. I don't even like mustard. I do. I mean, that's fine on stuff. I'm not like gonna take it off, but like, if I if I can choose to not have it, I choose to not have it. Hmm. Also, how much ranch are you putting on these wings? Are you a big ranch boy? Um, Are you I'm like tra- a medium I'm, ranch boy? I'm trying to not put as much ranch as I normally do on them. Because you're trying to get just the heat? Just because I'm like, I want to, yeah, I want to actually, not as not as big of a deal on this one. But like when we get to the hotter ones, I do want to get the heat, you know? Because I feel like that's that's what this is about. These aren't hot at all either. Yeah. No, no, no they're, they're barbecue. Where were these on the scale? They were, they were, I think they were two out of, two out of six fires. This is not a one third fire. Yeah, that's what this, not at all. That's what Wingstop says. The next Wing one we Stop have is a four. Next is a four. Mm-hmm. All right, we're yeah. we're jumping up. All right, Wingstop. I've, I'm not impressed right now, but we are on the low end of the scale. What? I'm impressed. I mean, it's still a good. They wing. taste pretty good. They taste good, but as far as heat goes, yeah, they're they're below average. Is it spicier than the previous one? No, neither yeah. of them have any spice. Yeah, that's true. What's the next question, Paul? Do we have right. more questions. Yeah, this is a good one. Um, animal tug of war. Mm. Who wins, a duck flying or a fish swimming? All right, let me hear this. Is my, this, this is yeah, my this question. Is question. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you take a duck, mm. okay, right outside of the water, and they're just kind of hovering there, okay? Mm. Pretend they can hover. We so tie a rope to its foot, okay. okay? Yeah. Take a fish underwater, an equally sized fish we're not sure. going like a marlin because that would be stupid obviously we know marlin mm-hmm. an equally sized and weighted fish you know like we're boxing they're in the same weight class weight class yeah you tie a rope to it somehow obviously not its tail because it needs its tail to swim but yeah say we we mount a little chest hook chest hook or it's got, it's back, like a, back yeah. spine hook you know yeah, to help you. it who wins in that tug of war you think the duck has more power flying outwards up towards the sky or the fish has more power swimming downwards down towards the uh, floor of the ocean. In that I, I, tug of war, one on one, who do you think is more powerful? I think the fish. I think the fish is going to take it because I think birds. I think birds are you know programmed to 
pick up fish and whatnot, but they're typically fish that are smaller. I like how you said programs. There. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously, obviously. Um, typically, it's smaller fish, right? But I don't think ducks even have the talons really to do that. So I don't think they're actually designed to pick up fish. Plus, the fish has gravity on its side, right? Like if it's getting a little bit out of that water, everything gets heavier for, heavier for that bird. Well, dude, fish are or ducks are able to do that. They literally dive in the water and get fish. Do they? I, I just haven't seen. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I haven't seen them do something like that, like get one that's the same size as them. That is a valid point. I'll give you that. But what they're not trying to pick it up with their mouth. They're just flying away. And I don't know. They got some. They got some strong wings. They fly a real. Think about this. They fly uh, a really, really long way. See, I was thinking. Which one becomes fully immersed in the other one's domain first? It, so you're saying it's like there's a middle point and they have to go back and forth past yeah, it's like it. like tug of war. Oh, okay. See, I thought the middle point was was the threshold between water and air. Mm-mm. So I thought it was like who who's going to drag the other one into their spot? For, either the water or the duck goes fully into the water. No, we got or, a center rope, right? Yeah, okay. We're, we're working on a slope like in math. Yeah, y yeah, equals yeah, mx yeah, yeah. plus b. Okay, if that's the case, I think I think then maybe the duck would take it. I think so too. Yeah, I'm Team Duck, Mighty Ducks. I like the Mighty Ducks movie. I have not seen it. Gordon Bombay would be so dissatisfied with you. Lucky for but also me, I don't know their who that jerseys is. are amazing. Yeah, I'm not a big hockey fan, but I want a Mighty Ducks jersey. Have you seen it, Paul? My birthday. Oh, yeah. My birthday's coming up. Just so we know. You want a Mighty Ducks jersey. Oh, but more than I that. I already buy you a gift. I, oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah. But more than that, I want a Ted Lasso jersey. I haven't seen that either. It's on Apple TV. It's hilarious. You guys should come over and watch it. You would laugh so hard at me. It's great. Yeah? But anyways, <clears throat> what's the next question? I'm not dying because of heat. I choked on part of the wing. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. <Yeah. laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, Ricky. Uh, so as most of, hopefully everybody, I mean, it's part of the, the, the intro Mm -hmm. um but this is our 50th episode and uh right we made it look how great we are we're famous so i think we should uh take a stroll back all the way to the beginning Mm. memory lane memory lane um so times man somebody asked this question i think it's a good question i think this is a chance for us to kind of talk about how this all started but uh the question is who wanted to start the podcast first me yeah it was ricky next question fools what we got we to gotta no. share some more of the story. Go ahead. I'm eating this wing. So it started off we, when we were both working at church together, and we were in the, in the youth, the youth's directing industry. <laughs> what do you call it? That's exactly how I would describe it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my LinkedIn said officially. The youth directing industry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, and we were. it was during COVID times, and so we were like, what media can we create? to reach out to these kids and so we're like we could start a podcast that would just be fun it wouldn't have to necessarily be like a theological podcast but more of just a way to get in in, in contact with those people and and provide some sort of fun yeah we're both we're both uh pretty creative minds but we're creative differently Mm -hmm. right so i like a lot of poetry type stuff i've like i've done a lot of video type stuff on different channels um did vlog stuff with my buddy zach um just diving into other stuff just being ridiculous and fun and weird and you have that same creative talent, but in other areas where you do design, you do those type of things. And so, um, we were kind of looking for a creative outlet in that same area that would be effective. And then as we kind of transitioned to new points in our life and we both started getting into like different jobs that required more of a, um, like full attention span for a prolonged period of time. Right, Right. And it wasn't as, uh, engaging in that creative side of our brain. This became a natural kind of we just need an outlet to be weird, to be fun, to be creative, right. and to have fun together. Yeah. And, you know, the goal was never and has has never been, let's make a podcast that gets huge. That's right. always been like, oh, man, that would be fun. Right, yeah. That's never been the goal. The goal was, man, we all, we you know, us three really enjoy spending time together. Um, let's do a podcast and see what it's like. And right. it has continued to be fun. And there's days yeah. where it's stressful where you're like, oh, shoot, we got to edit. We got to, you know, and we're not great. I get behind and that makes Paul behind. And we are like, there's not a stress about it because it's like, if we get it out, we, you know, we get it out to people and we have people text right, us right. and be like, and message us like, Hey, where, where's the podcast? Which feels good. Cause it does like, feel people good, are listening, yeah. but that's like, and that, and then I feel bad for that, but I don't, I don't feel a pressure about that because it's always been for me, 
I just want to do something that's fun and creative with right, with right. friends because it's a great outlet and I and think it's, it's enjoyable. Yeah, I think I think it was it was really cool. I was at a wedding the other day, and one of my friends who writes in Isaiah, he was like, "I still listen like every Monday," and he told me that like like months ago, right? Yeah. Like, that he was listening, but like since since last time he told me that, like I feel like a few people have stopped listening, like mm-hmm. including my wife. You know, like she doesn't listen anymore, yeah. and so I'm like, <laughs> I think my wife's still Isaiah, still there. I think she's like maybe every other one or something. <laughs> no, she. I think she listens to all of them. She just gets wow, a little behind. Wow, yeah, good yeah, for yeah. her. Yeah, but like. She's pretty dope. I was I was so impressed. I was like, really? And I was like, you haven't said anything to me about it in a while. He's like, yeah, yeah I listen every Monday. And I was like, I feel yeah. I'm so honored. I actually got a text today um, from one of our friends, mutual friends, that uh, sent me a picture of one of their kids with a phone ha- that had our logo on it. No it was like way. listening to it on the way to school. That's and it awesome. just made my day. Like we don't we don't do this, like I said, for you know, fame or whatever because it's not anywhere close to that we do this just well i'm doing it for fame oh, okay. you're <laughs> doing it for i don't do this yeah. but it like the fact that it's bringing joy to people around us right like i'll continue to do it just for that like as right. long as we're able to and it fits in our schedule and we can make this work like yeah. the joy it brings me just in recording and editing and those type of things and that talking about like having our friends be like like charlie for instance charlie Charlie's listens every great, week yeah. and she'll marco polo and be like you are so wrong on this and it's just like <laughs> it's so much fun for us that like we have friends engaging in this yeah, with yeah, us yeah. so yeah, that was that was sentimental. Yeah, it give was. me get, okay. While, while he's doing this, give me some real hot wings. I hope these are actually hotter because the whole point of this was to be somewhat uncomfortable. Because like that's the whole point. Oh wow. Okay, these look a little spicier. <laughs> they smell spicier. Okay, I got a question. Uh, I, I got a question. I got a question for you guys, you whippersnappers. <laughs> are you a more vinegary oh, wing awesome. liker? Uh, yes. Yeah. You like more vinegar. Well, whether or like, not like I the like smell. It more. You know what I'm saying? Like how a wing comes out and you're like, oh, vinegar. you don't. It doesn't smell hot. It smells vinegary. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I get what you're saying, and I'm trying to decide: am I? Do I like that more? I know I like it. I know I really like that those like vinegary hot sauce ones. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if I'd say I'd like that more because I still really enjoy like a nice, like spicy barbecue one or something like that too. That's less vinegary, but. I, it's just a different thing for me. I like them all. I don't, These are also not hot. I don't think really? I ever really paid attention to the vinegar level of things. Well, it's a Mexican. So I'm tackling my mouthful. Mom, please don't be offended. <laughs> As a Mexican, when you smell a lot of different hot sauces, I'm very picky about hot sauces. Some of them, like people are all about Tabasco. Mm-hmm. Tabasco is just vinegar, bro. Hmm. It's not great. The flavor profile, not awesome for a hot sauce. Now, is it good on stuff? Yeah, I'm not. I don't yeah. have a problem with it, but it's not like, oh, this is a great hot sauce. Right. Also, sriracha and me don't mix. Why? Is- it kills me, bro. It not in like a oh, it's so hot. It makes me feel like I'm gonna throw up. Really? And I cannot eat it. See, sriracha for me was was like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I went through like a second puberty. And yeah. then I just like all my taste buds change. You know how as a kid you're like, I only like chicken nuggets and and mac chicken and cheese. nuggies. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah. you're like, hey, I actually like things that have black beans in them now. You know, like I don't know if that happened to you, but that happened to me. Didn't happen to me. Let me just say, you've always liked the same thing, Paul. No, I just don't like black beans. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> Let me just say, those three things that you mentioned, mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, and black beans, are all like the three top things that my wife eats. Really? Still. Yeah. Oh huh, well, good. As a, as a kid. My parents made us black beans, and I hated them. They were, like, the worst. I thought they were the worst food on the planet. And now I'm like, I get them every time I get Chipotle. It's always in them. Any, where was I going with this? No idea. That you went off some weird bean tangent. What were you talking about before with the uh, sriracha. sriracha? Yes, yeah. Sriracha was something I was like, this is not a good hot sauce. And then, like, a year ago, I was like, I really like sriracha. And now I eat it with, like, my eggs. I eat it in tons of things now. I put it on my Brussels sprouts earlier today. So, growing up, pizza... Red Devil hot sauce, mm. good mixing apparent. We have a lot of hot sauces in our in our fridge. I don't know if we have as many now. My wife, I love my wife. I love her a lot. But as you know, when you're married, there's things your spouse does that you just you look up to the Lord and you're like, why? Why, why did you make them this way? <laughs> um, one of those for me is my wife buys taco bell's hot sauce 
Yeah, I get that. I get that. It's pretty good. Uh, and as you know, family that is Mexican, <laughs> uh, it's just you know it pains me inside. It hurts. Yeah, I, I believe that. Uh, the my go to like hot sauce on anything kind of thing, Louisiana hot sauce. That is really you introduced me to that. It's really good. It is what's at Popeyes. Yeah, it's great. It's, so good it is yeah. a perfect like middle blend it's got a light kind of like lingering heat not too vinegary man if we got sponsored by them I, i'd die a happy man i just want a shirt i want a merch shirt they can sponsor me sponsor us send me a shirt i'll 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 talk you up i just want a shirt uh are these hot to you no not really although no there's a little bit of tingling on my lips that's all i'm, I'm getting i'm just kind of sad right now that being said the tingling on the lips like the heat on the lips it's something I've been looking forward to because my lips were just starting to get chapped, mm. and now I'm gonna get all that like blood flow to them. Yeah, you and know what you should do? Uh, just dry um, scoop some of Protein my pre workout. Oh. No, my pre workout. Really? Paul was here earlier. I haven't taken my oh, pre workout yeah. in like a month. I take every once in a while, I'll take a month off because they just I don't know. I feel like sure, maybe sure. I shouldn't have that in my system all the time. Probably ever, but you know yeah. I need it. You know to right, work right, out. Right. So today was like the first time, probably in, actually maybe a month and a half, two months, and it touched my lips and they were itchy. They were itchy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it kind of does that to you. It doesn't normally do that to me, but I've just taken so long off. They're itchy, and I took it like I took a sip and I was like, like, oh, that was hard to get down, right? And then I just put more water in and just bam. So, and the whole workout, I was feeling great. Good. I, I'm still feeling great. I still feel. I'm probably not going to sleep tonight. I'll I be thought, honest with you. But. I thought you were going to say you or Paul actually dry scooped it, and I was like, you guys are crazy. I normally dry scoop it. What? Hmm? You just what? Hmm? Just dry scoop chug with some water back but it's the first time oh you, 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 you chug it with water okay that makes sense that's how you help it get down you just don't mix it first you little chaser of water that's a little too crazy for can me. i ask why like just quicker it's easy it's quicker okay i feel like it gets to my stream quicker too it's not not watered down it doesn't take forever you know kind of makes in just like boom all at the front end you just got a little water behind it that yeah, water is more of like a pushing motion instead of like a diluting motion you know what i'm saying right right no, hmm. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, well, I never, okay. I never wanted to do that. You know, like. I but that's why it. I lift more than you. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not gonna high five. You got high. I got hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, cool. nice. got him. I feel like now would be a great time to take a break and hear a word <laughs> from our sponsors. And that was such a good word from our sponsors. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, thank you to them. What were we talking about? How I lift more than Paul. Oh yeah. You guys both lift more than me, so I don't know. We both could lift you, single, not single-handedly, but single-personedly. I think I think I could at least hold one of you guys. Could you lift us? I don't know. What kind of lift? I won't say squat. No, definitely not squat. <laughs> Maybe. Your, your back would break. Your poor back, <laughs> man. It's not the back that ha- it's a problem for me. It's the legs. Oh. It's because they're just, they're just so long, you know? It's just a long way to go down. All right, wow, I got another wow. question for you guys. You got you got a lot of chicken on that one. Mm-hmm. That's the way to go. Are we okay. still on the third one? We're still on. We're on the third one. Yeah. You guys Here's one of the things with these wings. I'll get you in a second, Paul. I'll. These wings not right here, not great, not great. <laughs> Spice wise, <laughs> flavor wise, really good. Amount of meat on these bad boys. These are some hormone pumped chickens. Mm-hmm. They artificially grew these bad boys. They are like. They are putting some steroids in these guys to build them up. There's a lot of muscle on these guys. Yeah, that that was a really good bite that I just had. Although I, I'll say, I don't really the flavor. The flavor is good. It's like classic hot wing, but there's not enough of it for me. I feel like it's a little bit of a bland hot wing. But Wait I mean, till you get to the habanero, bro. Those things are hot. I'm not excited for that now. Now, now that we're we're getting there, you know. So that was a four. That was a four. This is so like a, this is a one and a half. Yeah, that it wasn't we're, didn't feel like a four. We're about to get to I think six, maybe it's seven or, or something like that. I'm not you sure. You said the, eight's their hottest. I think no. The haban the habanero is one is their hottest one. Oh, actually, it's the second hottest one. Okay, what the was hot, the hottest? The hottest ghost one. Ghost pepper. I might have been ghost pepper. It didn't say. It just said sweat and tears. That sounds great. And I figured I was like, we're already gonna have one of those. Let's get one that's in the middle. Remember not to touch your eyes, everyone. Paul, back to yes. you, sir. All right, uh, this one is another potato one, but hmm. I like this one too. I like potato questions. I like potato questions as well. Uh, this one is, if you could be a potato. What kind I'm a of, potato. What kind of potato trend. 
would you be? Uh, there's kind of potatoes. Yeah. You got t- uh, t- t- tiny potatoes, golden potatoes, sweet potatoes. I'd be a sweet potato. Can we change the question? Is that allowed? No. Yeah, like how would you how, prepare what, yourself? What, well, how would I prepare myself? Tater tot. But what potato would you pater- prepare yourself with? Whatever I know potato. Tater tot is made out of just a classic tater. Yeah, classic potato, like baked potato. Tater. Like a ba- whatever you make a baked potato out of, I want that. You but I want to be a tater tot. Mm. Done deal, man. Tater tots, best delivery system of a potato, hands down. Best delivery system. That's an interesting. That's an interesting idea. Best delivery system. How? Best, Meaning like best tasting and easiest to eat. Yeah, both. It's just the all around best. Okay. Okay. I love baked potatoes. I didn't for a while because I had to eat them every night because uh, my metabolism trying to gain weight and that kind of stuff uh, when I was in high school because I was losing so much weight every time I go to basketball season. Right, so I was just right. eating a lot of baked potatoes all the time. Um, every night is a bit of an exaggeration, but it was a lot of baked potatoes. Just to try and bah, keep that. Yeah, bah, you got you you to build the mass in. And uh, No, it was just keep the mass. It wasn't oh, even yeah. build it. Um, but now I love them again. I'm going to eat the skin, everything kind of person. Throw some butter on that boy. I'm not like a big cheese. I don't want it everything. Butter, maybe a little bit of bacon. But if I put some butter, salt, I'll eat a whole baked potato. I don't get no the people problem. who don't eat the skin. The skin is one of the best parts. It's a texture thing. Is it What? It's the best nutrients for you. It's the only thing that really has nutrients for What's you. What's wrong about the texture? It's a little chewy sometimes. They're not cooked well. Oh, man. You got to get them crispy. You know, get them crispy skins. I see. I see them no matter what. All right, fair, fair, fair enough, man. Paul, what would you be? Potato. I'm a potato. A potato. No, I would, I would do, I'd probably do like a waffle fry. I'd probably do a Yukon. A, what? what? Or just a Yukon potato, just raw. Yukon is a is a SUV. Well, it's a potato too. Is, is it the SUV is named of, after the potato? Type of potato? Uh-huh. I think so. I don't know. Look it up. I don't want it. You got, you got stuff no, on your hands. He's fine. He's fine. We're not gonna look up potatoes. We got okay. a lot to cover still. All right, I'm still choosing Yukon. Okay, that's fine. Wait, what kind of delivery system? Uh, trebuchet. What? No, 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 no. That's what's going to deliver. What form of potato oh, right. are you being I'm formed gonna, into? I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go potato wedge. No, no, no. I'm going to go breakfast, breakfast potatoes. You know where they come in? Right. The, they're like chopped up and they're fried on the, on the griddle. So like country like, potatoes? Sure, yeah, like country potatoes. Bro, you're going to go a breakfast potato and not go hash browns? Yeah, I'm going to go country potatoes. I feel like it's a little more classy. I, I Honestly, every time I go get breakfast potatoes, I never know what to choose between hash browns and those. Hash browns, man. Hash browns are great. The best hash browns are going to beat the best country potatoes. But I would say probably the medium line, the median line, your country potatoes. But the best, you're going peak to peak. Oh, man, a good hash brown, that changed your life. I'm just saying I don't think I'm the I don't best. Know why, I don't know why I said it like that. I think I'm pretty good. You know, oh, this, right. this is like my theory about the Taco Bell hot sauce. Have you heard that one before? No. Uh, I'm like, I think I'm like medium sauce. Got it. You know, as far as the hot skill goes, because you got yeah. the green salsa, you got the mild, you got the medium, then there's hot, and then there's fire and Diablo. I don't use their sauces, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, you got like all six. I think okay. I'm, I'm medium. All right. Then. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I do like that the packets have little things on them for you. Yeah, they say like, will you marry me? Yeah. What else we got, Paul? How are these? Are what are these? I Which one are these? I haven't eaten. This is the mango habanero. Oh, this is the hot, hot. Oh. This is the hot, hot one. Let's are watch you, Alex. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, Wait, let's watch me. Why don't yeah, we watch ahead. Paul? Go ahead. Paul's going to ask a question. I'm going to answer first, and you're going to eat, and then I'm going to go. I'm going to do the shack thing. We're going to be silent <laughs> while we watch it, though. <laughs> you got to ask a question. Oh, man. Okay. I want to watch him, though. We can watch right. him while you ask a question. You no, can do I, two I things at once. I cannot multitask. You know me. Come on. Uh, how tall is too tall, and how short is too short? What's one inch taller than you? That'd be too tall. Six three. Six three is too tall. And That's how uh, tall Israel is. Okay, six four is too tall. <laughs> and uh five seven. Oh. Is uh, too short for a male. The heat the heat's hitting me. Dude, your face just got so sweaty. Yeah, yeah it did. You oh this my is, gosh. Honestly, okay, okay, guys. Show your hands to the camera, man. This this is a, a, a manimal eating wings. That is just all in. <laughs> Every finger has wing sauce on it. Oh, this yeah, is why I'm in, t- in charge of touching the computer today. Oh yeah, I'm because not I, touch I, anything. I, I'm 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 not oh, I'm not opposed to going all in, but I'm also like, man, I want to be able to do a lot of other stuff with my hand just in case. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. what if someone throws me a football while I'm eating a wing? That's a I gotta point. have a free hand. What if Paul threw? What if Paul threw a Nerf ball at you right now? I'd make you catch you, it. You get hit right in the face. Oh, that's true. I'd yeah. catch it free. That's, that's you got free. I'd be like, ooh, 
Exactly. All right. What's our next question, Paul? Wait. No, you got to eat it. This is a, this is a really what, good wing. What was what was uh, the it's question hot, that you though. just answered? I don't remember. What it question was the, did you just answer? What is too tall and what is too oh, short? Oh, yeah, I answered it. I answered it. Six four. I do agree. I think six four is about too tall. Yeah, just a little taller than Israel. Israel, don't you dare grow, don't grow buddy. Man. Don't grow. I'm gonna go no without second ranch. Second puberty for you. These don't smell that hot. Oh, oh gosh, there's a. Nope, it's not a hair. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hair check. Is that a little pepper? All right, I'm gonna ask this next question, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try this wing. You're gonna try All it right. too? Yeah. Um, the question is, uh, would you rather be a spoon or a fork? Mm. Mm. Fork. Spoon. Self defense. I can eat cereal. Spoon is helpless. Oh well, yeah. No, not helpless. Just less helpful. Okay, you can eat cereal, but so can I. You just get milk. I don't. That's true, and I think that's that's really important when you're eating cereal. That being said, I can't eat a steak. You can't. Well, no, I could. You could still cut a steak and, and eat it. You just have to spoon it. <laughs> Which was, look, you couldn't eat a steak anywhere fancy. Sorry, I just hit would, the mic because I was laughing you at your yeah. the thought of you spooning a, 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 a <laughs> steak. Are you okay, man? You are sweating, sweating up a storm over there. I'm I'm good. I'm I get really sweaty when it's you your when your it's upper lip is sweaty. Is real sweaty. Yeah. These, I just can't wait got, for this. These got a little tingle. These ones are good. They taste really good. They do taste good. This is this is right Ow. at the spot where I, I want a hot wing lip, to though. be. What? I lit my lip. Oh, that that's not gonna be good for that for that hot sauce. Workman's comp on the podcast. This is this is exactly where I want a wing to be. I want it. I want me to be like a little sniffy, a little sniffly, and a little bit sweaty and almost crying. Paul looks red. Give me one sec. How you feel, Paul? Oh man, this one's hitting me. Oh yeah, <laughs> feeling uh, great. Us white boys over here. Uh huh. Feeling it. Brotherhood. My, girl, my girlfriend's probably super embarrassed with me right now. <laughs> She's probably so embarrassed. <laughs> Those of you are still. But listening. you're probably still. You're probably probably redder than she is though. Thanks for tuning in to this this episode. This is more of a celebratory for us. We probably, you might not even enjoy this, but we're enjoying it. We're enjoying it a lot. You're going to enjoy it, though. If you're already, if you're still listening, you might as well stay around until we do the hot, hot, hot one. The only thing I don't like yeah. about those ones, I'm not a huge fan of the sticky sauces. Oh, I like the stick, like the honey-esque, like almost yeah. like the, yeah, I like those. I like it more, a little more runny. Oh, interesting. No, I'm, I, I like it when you can really pile the sauce on there. I feel like the runny ones, you got a coating, but you don't got like as much sauce. You all right? Paul's dying a little bit. He is not happy with that. No, one. I'm fine. I mean, it tastes good. Mm. It's just I don't like the ones that like are on your lips. You know? Yeah, this is real. That's the sticky man. Yeah, I love it. Like, this I'm, is the best tasting. We're one we've had not today. officially sponsored by these paper towels here. All right, Paul, what do we got? All right. Um. Ooh, okay. I guess this is, an easy, okay? this is an easy question, but... Yeah, I thought you could just hear me ribbing that meat off this bone. Probably could. Yeah. Sorry, this is going to be the grossest ASMR podcast mm-hmm. of all time. 100%. Uh, do bald people wear hair nets if they work in a kitchen? On their beard, if they have a beard. Yep, beard nets. That's mm-hmm. the thing. Yep. But if they have no no hair at all? No. That would be ridiculous. They could wear a hat, probably. Well, I mean, anybody could wear a hat. I don't get your point. If they want to just feel included, like everyone else oh, is yeah, covering yeah, yeah. their hair, and they're yeah. just like, I'm going to put a hat on. They just put a hair net on? No, a hat. No, oh, put a hat, hat. yeah. Okay. Like, in place of a hair net. Oh, gotcha. Okay. There are a lot of chefs who do that. Is that what the... Chef Chef Ramsey does not. That's not acceptable. Mm. I wonder I wonder if Chef Ramsey has ever made anything that had a hair in it. Probably. His own hair. But it probably still tastes delicious. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I'd still eat it. He's got the best what, hair. What's your What's your view on that? You get it, You find a hair... Take it out and keep eating. Yeah, that's good. Good. Just don't think about it. Yeah. It's a hair. Yeah. You know what's weirder? If you find a hair in a drink, then I'm like, I don't know what to do about this. I get a new cup. Yeah, because you gotta you gotta dip your fingers into that drink. Not about it. If I see a hair, I'm be like, That's grosser for some "Mm." reason. And I just don't think about it, move on. Yeah. No one can make a deal about it. Someone makes a deal about it, and now I think about it too much, now I won't eat anymore. I won't complain probably. Because it happens. And now if there's like eight, I won't complain. If I find a bug, I'm gonna complain. I'm about to cry. Bro, you are. Do you touch your eyes? Your eyes are so red. I know. I'm about to cry, man. <laughs> are you okay? No. I'm, How well, many yeah. did you eat? Just, oh, just two? two. Hey, can you uh, can you pass me them? I want some more. Okay. No, Never you mind. can't. You can't get it passive. You should have pre prepared this. I buddy. should have pre prepped. Well, he prepped. needs to get one with the last dab on it. Yeah. All right. Oh. Ask us another question. I'll come to you. I'll ask another you. question. All right. Another question. Uh, 
What do you think about when we're you're still on the running toilet? a podcast here, people? What? Oh, I was just I was just offering him the Dude, you look like you are dying. I know. You if just... you if you are <laughs> listening to this, switch to the YouTube because it is only gonna get better from here. Take take this wing, Paul. All right, sorry we just interrupted this hey. broadcast for Paul to eat a wing and uh, you might have saw the backside of him. But I'm back. What's what's the next another question? All right, uh, what do you think about when you're on the toilet? <laughs> How good these wings were. That, that's what you think every time you're yeah. always looking forward to this moment or always going to be looking backwards yeah for the rest of my life yeah what do i think about when i'm on the toilet i'm a, I'm a pretty objective pooper not like not like objective truth pooper well i mean i objectively i do poop i mean that's just a fact but obje- I like i focus on like i'm task a, oriented task oriented much better yeah I'm a task oriented pooper. Type A like, pooper. If I gotta poop, I'm pooping and I'm getting on with my day. I'm not I'm not one of those people who like sits and enjoys their poop for like a while. I feel weird that way. Like if I'm like I I squeeze half of it out, I'm just sitting there with a a, a dirty butthole, you know? <laughs> Bro. We do not need this kind of detail. I'm just saying, I I'm like I wanna wipe and get done, you know? Alright. That's cool. Yeah. I'm a phone scroller. Oh you so you just think about whatever's on the phone? I'm usually playing Sudoku. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This one had more little, uh, oh, those little seeds on it. It was a little hotter. I'm still not sweating, though. I'm, st- I'm more sweating because it's hot in here. I'm not sweating either. I'm not doing any. I'm, I'm totally fine. I'm sweating from my eyes, bro. All right, here's another one. I'm getting the sniffles. <laughs> How would you want someone to greet you when you walked into a room? Wrong yeah. answers only. Wrong answers only? What's that up, was... my guy? It's a vibe in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. At, wrong at, wrong at answers only. I'd like them to just kick me in the shins. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hello. Oh, what? What's up? Yeah. No, wrong, wrong answers only. I want to go back to the, the 90s, early 2000s thing. Sure. sure. What's up? Nah, I want that. Every time anyone enters any room ever. I'd be too Even in an that. official business meeting. That would be awesome. Yeah. I think I'd be too interested. I'd be like, yes, this I'm I'm okay with this this vibe, my guy. You know? And I'd and I'd go for it. <laughs> that got you? Oh, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm eating another one of these lemon pepper ones just to rid my mouth of some that of the hurt. spice. <laughs> that hurt worse than the wing. Oh. Coke just almost came out my nose. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, I literally thought we were. <laughs> Paul is dying Paul, in the background. Paul, Paul, is, Paul is doing Lamaze glasses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Paul, you still have a job to do, though, too, man. You got you got to stay functional enough to read questions. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> oh. Bro, I hey, legit hey. thought on this podcast you were going to see Coke come out my nose because I laughed so hard. <laughs> It, it's like, you know that feeling where it's in your brain? Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, exactly. There's yeah. that right now. Oh, gosh. It hurts. That sucks. Let me say this, though. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time, too. I hope you listeners are having a great time as well. Yeah. There is a little bit of I love you guys. Cool, 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 cool. Us or them? You guys. Oh, we love you, too. All right, cool, cool, cool. We love you guys as well. All right. Give me another question, though. I'm excited. So you're walking into a movie theater and you got two sides to go to. Which direction do you go? Do you go to the left? Side? Which side did I walk in? Oh, good question. Which side do you walk in? Yeah, which side the do you walk one. in? The first one. I always go right. It depends. If there's an option, I go right. I don't know why. I just thought about that. I always go right. I always, it depends on it depends if if I'm walking in. You know how most movie theaters you walk in and then they're like, "Hey, you're you're in theater number 12." And then you're like, "Which side is number 12?" and you find out it's on the left side. If I'm on the left side, then I walk in. Oh, I guess it depends on what side of the hall, too. Yeah. I walk Wait. in the first door. And whichever side it is, that's the side I, I walk up okay. the stairs in. If there's a center door, right? You know some of them have a center door, and like right away you can go left or right. Yeah. You know oh. what I'm talking about? No, I, I feel like I'm you know Yeah, so like the bigger theaters, they have like two directions that you can go. You can either go to the right or go to the left of the of the. And sometimes area. there's the little trash cans right there. Yeah. Every time I go right. And then you have to turn left, and you go down the hallway, right? Mm. The, the little walk-up. Yeah. So that I can turn left and look up this way. I don't know why. But I always want to go to the right so that when I'm looking up, I look this way. This feels more natural to look up than this does. I'm the opposite. It feels more natural <gasps> to me to look I just way. figured out why that is. Because, wait, wait a second. 
What? We're on the wrong side of the table if that's the case. Well, th- that's just because you chose that side. Yeah. You said you wanted to be in front of these colors. That's true. I did. Yeah. And I was okay with that. Yeah. But this feels unnatural to me. That's why I lean a lot so that I'm looking straight at you. Yeah, because my my because I neck, don't like to look this way. Yeah, my neck naturally turns like this, this way. Mine goes this way. We should have switched sides. If no, if people to are them, watching, we're the other way. That's true. Oh, my mind just blew. But hang on, That's I gotta so tell you why this it. is. What? Because in basketball, I played the point guard position, and typically point guard because I'm right-handed. The point guard position. If the hoop is that way, you're on the right side. So everything I'm looking at is always this way. All of the field of vision is this. That's why I like looking this way. I don't understand what you're saying. My nose has a lot of hot air coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give us another question. Give us another question. My lips are when on are we fire. Gonna, when are we going to do this This last one? All right. I, I, we're at 52 minutes. Yeah, I know. But how many more? <sighs> have we got to the good, goodest questions yet? Oh, uh, man. There's I a couple good ones. I can't even see right now, so I, oh don't, I don't know what to tell you. You guys are such babies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me, let me okay, how, here let's do this oh, one. Man. I like this one and then we'll go to the uh we'll go to a couple more with the habanero or with the last step. <laughs> let's, okay? do, let's do two more right now. No, okay, ready? And I'm going to how a, a, a barbecue one. Oh, okay, that's fair. Fair right. <laughs> you guys really that bad? I didn't even eat it with ranch. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I forgot. You're white. That's Listen, right. Yeah, that's I was not I've been, blessed with your melanin. Okay. That's true. That's true, true. Okay. How would I'm you? I'm of Irish descent. And you know what? You know what? They eat potatoes <laughs> and bread. <laughs> Bland food. Even Irish whiskey is less of a punch than <laughs> normal whiskey. I could see in your eyes you're getting to that level of heat where the endorphins are kicking. Oh, yeah. Oh, for you sure. It. And it's great. I, I feel on top of the world. I feel like I'm going to die, though. Yeah. Okay. The answer to this is you feel on top of the world we're gonna die. How would you defeat your? Uh, how would you defend yourself from an alien invasion? I give in. <laughs> no other. Listen, we have we we haven't traveled to another planet. Your defense There's is There's nothing like, I can do. I am with you. <laughs> like, it's 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 either I'm gonna die now or I'm gonna die later. It de- I guess it depends who I'm around. Right. Like, what if they're my- trying to steal your wife? Well, obviously, I'm going to fight then. Well, let's go that then. It's an invasion and trying to take Tony. So we've gone from there's an alien invasion you have to There's an alien invasion and invading to take your wife. They're invading Earth to take my wife? Yeah, because she is the top-notch nurse, and they need a top-notch nurse at their alien planet. Well, maybe they need her for a good reason. Can I go with her? Because, I mean, what if— you choose. Do you think her— You choose. Do you think— Choose right now. No, no, no. Do you think that her nursing ability— would tr- would go cross species? How are these very human like? Whatever. If they are taking her, they have already thought through it, and they need her. But she's your wife. All right. But you're gonna defend. For- or you're gonna force- let her go. Forcefully kidnapping. Yes, her. they are. All right. Then I'm gonna shoot them. Okay. Cool. All right. I think I would. I would. Do you think uh, they have force fields? I think I would go more subtle. I'd go with my swords. You go swords. Mm-hmm. Why is it? How is it, how is that more subtle? Because I'd be like, hey man, and then I'll just whip out a sword and cut them up in half. Yeah, whipping out a sword that you're just Subtle, carrying, carrying with you subtly hey, is man, way more... I can carry that whole sword over there, and you have no idea. Not not easier than you carrying a handgun. Right, but I run out of bullets. I don't run out of swords. Why don't you bring both? I probably would. All right. But my initial defense, sword. All right. Enough. Wait, wait. I want to hear Paul's answer. Karate? It's Taekwondo. I thought those were the Don't same be so thing. rude about it. What? How would you do it? How would you defend yourself? Sword, right? That's what we were talking about, Alex. We already went through this. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't think. I think I'm going back in time. Actually, is what's happening right now. <laughs> oh God, yeah. you are like you are like fever level. Yeah, hey, what's up? We're burning all the whatever is trying to kill you inside of you. Like any foreign objects or substances are being killed right now. Like the aliens. Yep, the aliens. What a good allegory that ties in so relatively. Last one, and then we'll go to the to the last things because there are a couple other funny ones. Okay, cool. Because the middle of my there's head three hurts. more fun ones. <laughs> Um, if you were a dinosaur, what color would you be? Blue. All right. That's fair enough. Paul? Green. <laughs> Ricky? I want to go yellow. Would you be like a bright yellow? Or like I, I, ye- I want to be this. Can you see that? Yeah, exactly. I can see. That's why. I don't know. I feel like in this situation, <laughs> you're a girl dinosaur then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with that. I want yellow, but I want red spikes. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Spikes and claws. Yes. Yeah. They really pop out at you. And then, like, you know the raptors from uh, from Jurassic World? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Those? 
Uh-huh. Yeah, it does. Um, the, you want to do it again? The little, no, that's okay. fine. I don't think anybody wants you to do it again. <laughs> that's not a raptor. It's actually that, a pterodactyl. Yeah, which we know how they sound, obviously. That's more raptor. Pterodactyls. <laughs> what is happening? I thought I was the crazy one. What? <laughs> Am I in a, am I having a fever dream? Like what is going on? All right, go ahead. Finish that, this and we'll go. I need is that your defense it. against the aliens too? <laughs> <laughs> Think of that. If I come at them, like arms slapping like this, if I put on like a, a hoodie, right? But I don't put it on all the way. I kind of just get it so it looks like my my arms are attached to my body at some sure, sort and sure, start sure, flapping. Sure. Yeah, that's gonna look pretty aggressive. I, I'm sure. If I wear the hood on too, yeah. and I got oh sorry, you got a hat on like this. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, why you gotta stop doing it, man? It's not that loud. That's worse than me going. No, it is yeah, definitely not. It is not. Right in the comments. L- listen, which is worse. sir. They don't know. I edit all that out. Well, then don't edit this one out. What's worse, his his roar or me going? Charlie, you tell us. Is that my dog whining? Yeah. Hey. Okay, keep going. What? Uh, you, I, give you me. You scared your dog because you did that thing. Give me some more of these. Uh, we're gonna take another uh, break for our sponsor. And we'll be back uh, right after they give us some words of encouragement. And thank you for that wonderful sponsor. We are finishing up our time with you. Yeah, um, and if in case you guys think that this is an accident, there was no sponsors. There was not. Yeah. Um, but if you want to sponsor us, it... We clearly have spots open. We're very cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Louisiana, just a shirt. That's all we need. That's all we need. Um, so... Uh, Whoa, I don't know what just happened. So, okay, so let me explain what's happened off camera just for a second. We took out the last dab, which is from the... From First We we Feast. That's the official brand. Yeah. Presents Hot Ones Hot Sauce. Yeah, exactly. Hot Ones is who we ripped this off from. Yeah, exactly. So we took their last dab hot sauce, and we're going to have it on our spicy habanero wing. Oh, so we're gosh. taking the I got spicy wing, and we're going to put some more spiciness on it. I was already dying from the spicy one. And so was Paul. Ricky was fine. But Ricky opened up the bottle. And he's mm-hmm. had it before. Ricky yeah. opened up the bottle and he was like almost threw up just because of the, the scent and how it brings him back to the last time he had it. So the likelihood that Paul and I throw up and maybe even Ricky is at least it's pretty high. Yeah. The uh, I don't know what it was about this. I've had this before. It's hot. Um, it'll definitely make you cry. Don't touch your eyes if you ever have it. Um the problem with this is it has the smell. Um, it doesn't smell good. It smells like death. It is I not a smell, um, smell. don't no. smell it. Don't Just smell don't it. do it. It is not. Um, it's not the best hot sauce in the world. It is. I, I want to say it's in the million on the Scoville scale. I was trying to look it up. But oh, the final sauce as of season four, Hot Ones own uh, the last dab. It has a Scoville rating. Oh, wait. Yeah, and it says has a score rating of two million. Oh, that's the last dab. Season how much? 10. How much does a Carolina Reaper have? Uh, I think it's about a million. That's why, because this like, is made yeah, with like Carolina. Like Reaper. One cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. So it, you know, it's it's like eating a little piece of a Carolina Reaper. It's, I mean, it's not awful. We've had Carolina Reaper before. Yeah, we have a whole Carolina Reapers. Yeah. I just, here's the thing. It's just been so long since I've done like a spice challenge. Yeah, I can smell it right now, man. I'm telling you, this this stuff smells like death. It like is creating a visceral reaction for me where I feel like throwing up, probably because it. I've made fun of Paul so much for throwing up over this. I probably. think this is this. My Recompense. body is you know is attacking me for yeah. my making fun of Paul. Yeah. Paul, I apologize. Hey, I appreciate it. We'll see what happens. Hey, we'll see. You, Paul's also eating it off yeah, screen. Paul's yeah, Paul's eating it. And if he you threw see up a blur time. running past <laughs> the door, that's Paul dying. <laughs> Okay. We should probably uh, close this in case one of us yeah, decides yeah. to ask to ask one more question and then let's get to this. Let's, you know, build the suspense a little bit. Was there a question that you saw that Yeah, I got this. You liked more? I got this. I got this. Let uh Let's do this one first. And I then think we'll we get should to... answer a question while we eat this. Yeah, we will. We'll have two more after this. Um What is one food you never get tired of eating and you can't say Rubio's? I can't say Rubio's? No, because we've already talked about that. Can, can I say I... what I don't want? Sure. These wings ever again. You don't want any of these wings? Or just the one that we're about to eat? The, the one that we're about to eat. Okay. No, you can't say that. That's not allowed. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
You guys, look at I think I would say I don't think you can see that. That no, is, it is thick on here right here. This boy it is not a sauce. It's like a uh it's like a um Paul's going to zoom in at this point. Uh, I'm not uh, on in his in his editing. It is like It would be um, so grainy. <laughs> it is like I don't even know what it's 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 like a pesto. It's like a pesto consistency. Mm. You know, yeah. pesto without the oil. I was gonna say it's like a mashed potato consistently. Yeah, it's okay. It's like a ma- it's know? like a yeah, it's like a mashed potato and grits <laughs> consistency. Oh, um what food do you never get tired of? Well, I'd say like toast. Oh, that's good. You know? I'd like, say grilled cheese. Sure. Yeah. That's just you toast make with a, cheese in yeah, there. Yeah, you can mix the cheeses up though. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Did your stomach just drop out a little bit? No. Did you get scared? No, I'm not. I did a little bit. I'm I'm still I'm still somewhat do, blissfully naive. Do you want me naive. to go first, or do you want to be blissfully naive and go first? I would like us both to go at the same time. Okay, Paul. I would like all three of us, and then it'll well, probably be a well, little. Paul bit has of... to ask the question first, and then we and oh, then yeah, we that's eat. True. Yeah, and, and then, then the... we have to just answer as quick as we can. There you... will be a little bit of dead air. <clears throat> do you but... want to do you want to do the question right above that one? Yeah, do the question right above that one. All right, uh, I'm it... so scared. <laughs> yeah, I am too. I don't want to. Guys, <laughs> we do this because we love you. And because we're trying to get internet famous. <laughs> and also because we hate ourselves. I love myself. Clearly not. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm going on. I'm just move on. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. If you could have a dollar for every time you no, did. No, I don't want to smell it. <laughs> I don't want it. Okay, what? Ricky tried to make me smell it. Why are you looking at me like you're being, you're mean mugging me? Can I ask a question now? Ricky's looking at me weird. Oh, oh he's eating it. Ask the question. For it. Oh, God. If you could have a dollar for every time you did something, mm, what God, would it be oh, for? God, no. That's a terrible taste. <laughs> oh, it's like bitter. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I don't even remember the question. If I could have a dollar for everything, oh, not this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, you're so Do bad. I swallow or just leave it or not? It's so bad. It's so hot. I, sw- <laughs> oh. I look fine, right? <laughs> Here you go. Here's your thumbnail. <laughs> I need a paper towel. I got you, buddy. I need to lick a paper towel. Holy hot. It was Ugh. my hungry bird. Ah. I'm so sorry if you're, <laughs> if you're listening to this. <laughs> or I'm even more sorry if you're watching this because I'm about to just lick ranch off my plate. A literal tear is coming out of the left of my eye. Look at this. I'm crying. Two tears. Stop making me laugh. <gasps> anyway, I got it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I feel great. I feel so good. <laughs> What's the question? If I could have a dollar for doing one thing, <laughs> what? <laughs> you get a dollar for <sighs> every time you did something. What? What would it be? Breathing. <laughs> Breathe so stinking much. Ah, we gotta die. Ah. Ah. Am I the only one who has a headache? <laughs> I'm sweating at this point. Oh, wow. Welcome to the club, Ricky. <laughs> I'm sweating out of every orifice of my face. <laughs> my eyebrow follicles. <laughs> oh, dancing in a pool right now. What was the question? If you have a dollar, you get a dollar for every time you do something. Oh, I have a dollar for every time. <laughs> I'm out of my drink. One of my cells died. <laughs> you want some? That's not you. I, like, I drink out of my hand. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. <sighs> Wait, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> if you have a dollar... <laughs> For every time you did something, what? What would you? You know what I'd do? <laughs> You're so. Crazy. I'd have a dollar for every time I get a dollar. <laughs> All I gotta do is get one dollar. Infinite money. 
Guys, I think I, uh, you hacked the code. Let All me it say. took was the hottest hot sauce hot. in the world, and you hacked it. I have boogers. Bro, I got a perpetual motion machine of dollars. I'm the smartest when it's hot. <laughs> I'm calling this spicy brain energy. <laughs> okay, so I'm the next Bill Gates. Okay, buy a dollar for every. Every time I did some, it would be not breathe. I wouldn't want it that many dollars because that would be an issue. I wouldn't know what to do with them. I hope my stomach's hot and I'm going to throw up. I feel fine. <laughs> it would be every time I high five someone, I get a dollar. That's pretty cool. Would it show up in your head? <laughs> but then you have to fight over who gets it. I had to spit in that because there's too much range in my mouth. Okay. Ooh. Well, the last one. We got to ask one more question. We'll ask you one more question. What is the best pickup line? <sighs> mine. Okay. Here's mine. Dang, girl. This is what I'm saying to my wife. Are you the last dab? Because you are hot. And then I cry. You're so hot. That's good, man. I like that. I would be... Dang, girl, you're the last dab? Because I can't think right now. <laughs> you take my breath away. <laughs> Paul? <laughs> we need to pick up one. Say Emily. Say this. Oh, man. Oh, my stomach hurts. <sighs> I can't think. I know. So, I got. I got a new one. I I'm say, drooling. Are you drooling? No. I can't feel my. Mouth. Everywhere else, though. <sighs> my last pickup dab would be, girl, you the last dab, because if I had a dollar, <laughs> I get more dollars, and I want to share that dollar with you. That's pretty I sweet. I want all of them. Paul, I'm gonna eat another got- barbecue. You want barbecue one? Uh-uh. I don't want anything. I'm gonna throw up. Paul, I need you to say a pickup line so I can end this. Wait, Alex, wisdom. No, oh. I needed Paul to say a pickup line. Paul, pickup line. Gosh, man, are you are you the last last dab? Cause I, I can't. wow. I want to throw up. Uh, you make me want to throw up. <laughs> are you the last dab? Cause uh, I can't feel my mouth. Don't right. use that one on Emily. You won't have a girlfriend anymore. Uh, uh, wisdom, let's go. My wisdom is uh, oh uh. Are you the last dab? Because you're making me drool. I'm starting to feel okay. I got an idea. Are you guys okay? I'm no, I'm good, okay. man. <laughs> Hold on, look. <laughs> I'm feeling normal again. I feel great. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna say this. I did okay. not feel like I was going to throw up because of the spice. The taste is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I just right. have a headache. It's burped in my It tastes like uh, absolute death. Uh-huh. Uh, it is not good. It's not good. Mm-mm. All right, wisdom. My Go. wisdom. I guess, uh, I guess uh, if you got chapped <laughs> lips or something, really good for, yeah, fix for chapped lips. Get rid of that stupid chapstick you got there. That's dumb. You know, you got to eat hot wings. We are the last stab. Is that it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. I just had to breathe for a second. You want me to take us out? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to eat Paul. a wing over here. Paul. Yeah. Before I can exit. I want to say shout gotta, out to... You, you, you got to come stand over here. Shout out to Sean G, or whatever his name is, from the Sean last... Sean Evans, I Sean think. Sean Evans, from the last... Or from the hot ones. Paul, Paul, come stand over here. Let the camera go. Come stand over here. Sign out a 50 with us. You don't have to say anything. Episode 50, here. yeah. Shout out to all you who uh, who really made it happen. <laughs> I mean, we made it happen, truthfully. <laughs> and are making it happen right now. But you listen... <laughs> And you gave us the motivation. You made the motivation happen. Oh, yeah. All right. Also, look for this video. On, uh, go go watch on YouTube. Share it. And also, uh, we'll probably post some of this on TikTok. Paul, we'll, we'll give me that video and we'll post on TikTok. But, guys, holding it together. This is 50 uh, episodes. I never in a million years thought we'd make it to 50 episodes. I thought this was just going to be a ridiculous thing. We did 10. Yeah. Um, I, one of the questions that we didn't answer was, what's the future of the podcast? I don't know. I hope we do this for a really long time, honestly. This is something that we do together as friends. Um, please, if, honestly, if this is something that you enjoy, just let us know. Um, not to boost our ego, but it just makes us, uh, it just reminds us of why we do this because it's True. fun and it, it makes us feel good when 
we hear that you enjoy what we're doing. When we do stupid stuff like this, it makes uh, it makes it all worth it. Even though we'll cry tonight and our stomachs will hurt. Um, yeah, this it's, is not <laughs> worth it. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's, it's, no, it's uh, worth it. We enjoy just bring being able to bring laughter to our friends and family. So I, I don't know. Look at I mean, me. Look at me, Paul. Paul, they can't hear you. They can't hear you. Paul, just, just let us sign out. You're okay, bud. I, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but Alex is physically shaking. <laughs> Am I? Put your hand out. <laughs> you are shaking. That's all right. All right, guys. Well, thank you again. Uh, we know this episode was long. We appreciate you. We love you. Um, and remember, as always, stay off.